here today just to do my paired spoiler review for Sense and Sensibility. As with the first one I filmed, I still have not found my copy of Sense and Sensibility. No idea where it is. So I ended up with this read through using an ebook from my library as well as an audiobook to get through it. I really en have enjoyed classics in the last couple years, especially Jane Austen classics. Um, so while I'm going through this, you will see me referencing my enjoyment of Pride and Prejudice a quite a bit because it is the one that stands to the forefront of my mind the most. And when I think of Sense and Sensibility, I always seem to place it at the same caliber as Pride and Prejudice when I think about it in my mind, just because I do typically love Jane Austen's writing. So I decided to, to reread this book, so I had it kind of very fresh in my memory uh, so I can watch one of the movies. I'm hoping, I think it was the one that was done in like 1994-ish that involves Emma Thompson, so I think she did the screenplay and acted? I can't remember, but I've heard only good things about it. And upon picking up this book, I was just really excited to follow the Dashwood sisters again um, as they kind of go through their little, uh, as they go through their lives as young women in Regency era England, falling in love, looking at marriage, and interacting with the people around them. And with that said, I will go to my likes and dislikes. Uh, I have three of each, and I'll start with my likes as I typically do. One positive for me was I loved that you got a really good sense of the frustration involved with gossip and how it just seems to perpetuate and just how it just seems to perpetuate misinformation and, and really obfuscate a lot of things. My second positive is that I loved the ending. Although I'm someone who very strongly believes in that not everybody needs to get paired off in a book, because of how the story plays out, I really don't mind that you get it playing out with everybody coupling off. And I think it was just really appropriate given the characters and the context. Uh, my third positive is the beautifully eclectic cast that you meet. Um, well, a lot of them fill out stereotypes, uh, this actually just to me makes a lot of the interactions a lot more interesting just because of how they play out because everybody's a little bit over the top. And while they are stereotyped so it's very predictable actions, I still enjoyed just watching the interactions from the sideline. And with that, I'm now going to move down to my dislikes. The first dislike is the pacing and this is something I've never really noticed before. And I think it's because I usually read Sense and Sensibility second or third when I reread my Jane Austen stuff. And the pacing in the front half to two thirds of this book is excruciatingly slow, I found. I think a lot of this is because, like I said, I usually don't start with this one. I usually start with one that I know I love, like Pride and Prejudice, or one that I feel is a little more quick paced, like Emma. And so within the pacing as well, I just felt the reason that it was so excruciating for me was that there was a lot of, a lot of the conflict was drawn out a lot more than it should have been for me to keep enjoying it. And then that leads me to my second negative. And while I enjoyed how the book presented gossip as a source of frustration and misinformation and just obfuscating so many things, I was getting incredibly frustrated just with the general lack of communicate direct communication on top of that um especially when i feel like some of the characters would be more forthright and ask specifically and directly what people are meaning where they're getting their information and so the fact that there was a lot of direct communication missing from characters that i thought would be more forthright was just very, very frustrating. <laughs> and to me, at least, it resulted to dragging out a lot of that conflict that really, really reduced the pacing in that, fr that first chunk of the book. And that leads me to my final dislike. And it's that while the bones of the story are the same as Pride and Prejudice, which is one of my favorite books of all time, the execution just didn't carry the same magic. I say that in a sense that like it was good but un unlike 
Pride and Prejudice, I wasn't as invested in the sisters in the story. I wasn't as best invested in the love interests in the story. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is that I found some of the characters so ridiculously selfish that it was hard to deal with them, among a few other things. Nothing super major, but enough that I didn't love the book as much as I have previously, because these things just seem to stand out quite a bit more this read through. With that, I will jump on to the characters to kind of finish this up. Hopefully I won't ramble too much. And so the characters I did enjoy at how they, eclectic they were because it did lead to a variety of interactions. Um, although I do feel the characters were a little flat because they were so stereotyped and that made their actions very predictable rather than having mul in more individual characters having multiple different styles of interactions. But that is something super minor and just like really nitpicky on my end. I'm fully aware of that. <laughs> In addition, in addition to this flatness with the stereotypes, I also just didn't feel as endeared or invested in the characters and their growth. So as someone who really enjoys becoming attached to characters while I'm reading the book, that it was a bit of a letdown, especially given that in Pride and Prejudice and Emma, I do feel a, quite a bit more invested in the characters I'm reading about. And as I kind of mentioned at the end of my dislikes there, um, some of the characters were annoying and a lot of them because they were just like unreasonably selfish and while I understand having unlikable characters and I myself have enjoyed unlikable characters part of it enjoying them is still like feeling invested and in understanding of their motives and that just didn't happen in this story for me so I know <laughs> I'm kind of ending on a negative note here but I'll move into my wrap-up and kind of explain myself a little bit more I'm giving this a 3 out of 5, and that isn't a terrible score. I actually quite enjoy a book that is 3 out of 5. It's good. It's just not great, and it's just not amazing like you would get with a 4 and 5 star book. And honestly, with that said, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't enjoy this as much as I've enjoyed my other Jane Austen books and other Jane Austen rereads. And while I did enjoy some characters like Eleanor or Colonel Brandon, a lot of the other ones felt flat, so it was a lot harder to be invested in their happiness and their outcomes, or even just some of their interactions on a day-to-day -day basis. And because of that, combined with the pacing, I really struggled to get enjoyment out of the first half of the book. That being said, once we kind of got to that second half, kind of last third of the book, it really picked up and I really, really started enjoying it because things started falling together, the pacing picked up, the characters at that point started becoming to life a little bit more. It was a little bit too little too late in that it didn't really bump up my score that much, but or it didn't bump up my rating that much, but it did leave me feeling a lot better about the read through than I was worried I was going to be based on where I was about after the first third of the book. For those of you who have read Jane Austen, I will say this, the bones of Sense and Sensibility are very, are very similar to Pride and Prejudice. It just ended up not being executed as well, so the magic wasn't quite there. Uh, that being said, if you haven't read this and you've read other Jane Austen and enjoy other Jane Austen, this is probably still worth giving a chance. Uh, let me know below if you think I missed anything egregious or if I am just blowing wind out of my ass and you don't agree with me at all. Uh, with that, I will see you in the comments and in the next video. Peace.